Gang stalking is unwanted and repeated surveillance by an individual or group. It involves harassment and intimidation. Gang stalkers will often follow their victim in person and monitor them. Gang stalking is very similar to a smear campaign. Gang stalkers are very similar to flying monkeys. This isn't a conspiracy theory. It is very real. They are involved in gangs or groups. They bond over the destruction of their target. It's no different to a child being stalked and harassed in school by a group of bullies. We all know that this goes on. And we also know that it happens in the workplace. So why is it so hard to believe that gang stalking exists when we know that all of this is true? It's no different to narcissistic gaslighting. They want people to doubt their own memory, perception and sanity. They want everyone to think that the target is crazy because they don't want anyone to know the truth and they want to continue what they are doing. People are being stalked by gangs or groups. Some people call it gang stalking or community stalking. The name doesn't really matter. What matters is that people are being stalked and harassed every day. They are being robbed of their own lives and free will and they cannot live their lives in the way that they want to live. And anyone who thinks that that is okay is a very sick, twisted person. It is very evil behavior. And that is why they don't want anyone to know about it. Because they know that they are very evil people. And they know that normal people would not tolerate it. Why are you being gang stalked? Why are you being followed or watched? Why are you being harassed or intimidated? The root of this behavior stems from their envy and jealousy. Their feelings of discontented or resentful longing aroused by your possessions, qualities or luck and their desire to have something desirable that belongs to you. This causes them to develop grudges. It causes them to develop a persistent feeling of ill will or resentment resulting from past injury or insult whether real or imagined which then keeps them stuck. They can't move on. They can't forget about you. But this really has very little to do with you. They already felt this way before they ever knew you existed. They are uncertain or anxious about themselves. They are not confident. They are very insecure, which means that they are not firm or fixed. They are liable to give way or break. They live their day-to-day -day lives just trying to hold themselves together. Someone comes along and triggers something within them, which then arouses feelings of envy and jealousy. And they just don't know how to deal with it. They don't know how to resolve those emotions because these types of people are very externally focused. They're always watching what everyone else is doing, always comparing themselves to what everyone else has. Instead of just focusing on their own lives and worrying about what they're supposed to be doing, they're too busy worrying about everyone else, especially those who they are envious and jealous of because they're insecure. They think that by constantly keeping watch of this person, Maybe it will help them to manage their pain and to prevent any injuries in the future. They become fixated on their target. They develop an obsessive attachment to them. Their target becomes a tool which they use to regulate their emotions, to regulate their false sense of self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. But they're never satisfied. No matter how much they watch you, no matter how much they beat you down, because the problem really has nothing to do with anything you have achieved or obtained. It has nothing to do with anything you have said or done. The problem exists within them. Their fear and insecurities. Their own self-hatred and anger towards themselves. Which they are trying to project onto you. Because they are envious and jealous of you. They don't even know you. They think that they are studying you and learning more about you. But all they're really doing is learning more about themselves from everything that they are projecting onto you. Their determination to engage in these behaviours comes from their envy and jealousy from wanting to take something from you. They are shame based individuals doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. So they will try to make you feel shame as though you are bad or something is wrong with you and that is why they are stalking and harassing you. But that is actually how they feel about themselves. They know that something is wrong with them. They know that what they are doing is not right. But it's either that or they're forced to reflect on their own self-hatred and accept the feeling and belief of you being superior to them. And that is just too painful for them to deal with. 
So they will continue to come after you in an attempt to dodge the shame that they already feel. But it never goes away. It's always there eating away at them. And that is why they will remain bitter and resentful towards you. That is why they will continue to hold a grudge. And that is why you are being gang stalked.